Be sure to go to FlipSideGaming.com and use promo code 6 for 10% off on orders over $10. It's a good deal and helps support the show. Today's video was also brought to you by the subscribe button. If you haven't yet, go ahead and press that. I make new videos every day, and I'll be probably upping that uh, over the summer where I'll be playing Magic every day, and then probably po posting a bonus video eh, Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, I think, uh, with one of them definitely being Legend of Runeterra, one of them most likely being Slay the Spire, and the last one probably being a actual wild card day where I just play some stuff. You're in for a wild ride. What's up, Planeswalkers? Theric 6, back with some more Magic the Gathering, and today we're playing the FNO FNM whatever at home artisan event so an artisan you can only play with cards that are commons or uncommons it's like pauper but a little expanded these cards are banned meh who cares now i heard through the grapevine we even beefing now after all the years we've been down ain't no way no how this bull can't be true we family ain't a thing changed unless it's you uh no i i've heard that cycling is like the deck to beat so i saw as as i was looking for these decks because i was playing animal crossing with my lady friend um on the Magic the Gathering Arena subreddit, one Wizard of Trash, love the name, uh, threw together this mono black um, devotion list. Well, not this exactly. I did make a couple of changes. But generally speaking, uh, the point of this deck is to have things like Underworld Dreams, where your opponent just gets nugged every time they try and draw a bunch of cards. We have a decent amount of enchant-based removal to kill their relatively small creatures. You know, um, Mogus's favor, technically we can use to make our Grey Merchants or something a little bit larger. But also, it's just a nice way to kill those uh, three ones that uh, make you more dudes when you cycle. So generally speaking, it's just a relatively solid deck, especially considering, like, we have so many Black Pips, and it's just, they're all just like uncommons and commons, man. Like, there's a lot of power packed into these cards. I'm not going to go over each individual card. The point essentially is, you play enchantments, you, ki you, you kill your opponent's stuff, uh, they die. It's great. Um, I did make a couple of changes, as I said. The main one being, I went up to 23 lands instead of 22, because I'm what I like to call a coward. Um, the, uh, what is his name? Wizards of Trash also had uh, Obnixilus in the deck. Understandable. I just personally don't like Obnixless enough to put him in the deck, especially considering if I'm not going to get a cycle deck, it's not as good. Lopan. Um. A lot of land, but we'll keep it. I think our opponent might have the same idea. So it's possible that there have been so many cycle decks that the mono black decks <laughs> have. Okay, nah, that. Nah, this isn't a normal mono black deck. It probably still is mono black, but. Huh. Well, I'll just go ahead and put this down real quick. And uh, we'll smork. And we slowly kill our opponent. We just get the drain on. And they get drained. So I assume my fan is going to die and my opponent gets to draw a card. Have fun with that, my friends. You are going to take a little bit of damage. Whenever an enchanted creature dies... Whenever an enchanted creature dies for each aura you control. Okay, so I can murder this if I want. Or I can just play Deathless Knight, but it's probably just going to die anyway. So I think I would rather just murder this. I guess technically I could have waited until I got mine. Yeah, I don't know. I'm going to be able to play this next turn and hit them. Sure. So, it's probably just going to be Cycle Decks versus Mono, like, mono Black. <laughs> just because of the, the power of those two Dex's tools, I assume that's going to be like the main thing. And if I get Deathless Knight gets to stay around then my Gary is pretty decent. Maybe I should only be running 22 lands. It's just rude. Falmer Knight. Interesting. Alright. Alright, well, if I'm running, running Gary's... Like, my opponent is in a tough spot. <laughs> Sure, that just puts it into your... On top of your library. So unless you have removal for Gary... I mean, even then, like, you're still dying in a couple turns. 
Yeah, that's uh, insufficient, my friend. Uh, you are going to get garyed. Gary! Spark Harvest! Rude. Just gonna go ahead and uh, murder my opponent here. I do have a question from Discord. By the way, I have a Discord server. Link in the description for that. You can chat. I have a bunch of channels in the Discord server. It's a ton of fun. If nothing else, you can get a lot of feedback on decks. I just realized this is a commons on commons only, and I got a rare. But one of the things that you can do on Discord is ask me questions directly for me to answer um, on on recording. For what it's worth, technically you can answer ask me questions like whenever, but if you want to see me actually talk about the question, you can do it here. Keep this, because I have Eidolon into Deadweight. I'm going to pass the turn. I don't want my Eidolon to get shocked. Or anything like that. I want to get value out of it. And I don't really mind putting myself slower. Not what I expected at all. They're still going to be drawing. I do think I just want to Timmer it here. Yeah. Excuse me, but Savantis asks... What card would you like to see printed in Historic Anthology 3 and why? So we already know a couple of cards from Historic Anthology 3. We know Ulamog, um, the Ceaseless Hunger, not Infinite Gyre. Uh, and we know... Sure, this is actually fine. So I'll do this. I will do this. I'm going to use Mogus's Favor. Boop. Cool. And I will attack. Cool. Um, we know Ulamog, the Ceaseless Hunger, as well as Phyrexian Obliterator. Both of those cards I'm super excited for. Shout out to Bobbers, also asking me a question. Like, right now. This just in. Haha, <laughs> get it? Okay, that's fine. Although, I, I guess I don't have anything else to play right now. Just gonna go ahead and attack. Gonna end the turn. Alright. <laughs> I need my Underworld Dreams. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm interested in playing both of those cards in a number of decks. As for other cards, I would really... Personally, as a Death and Taxes player, I would love to get Leon and Arbiter. The thing is, I doubt that's gonna happen. Ooh, Preach. Mad Preach, I'll get to kill that. Another Ominous Seize? Sure. I mean, this is frightening. Although it doesn't have Hexproof, so I guess I do still have Jack to Down to Worlds with it. My turn. Oh, hell yeah, dude. This is great, because I can do this. I should have I should have technically deadweighted first. Yeah, I should have technically deadweighted first. Um, I will just develop Witch's Cottage. Like, I don't get value out of it, but I think that's correct. Point stuck on three lands. Not great for them. Uh, but I, I doubt we're going to see Leon and Arbiter printed, even though I would absolutely love it. Uh, it would make Field of the Dead decks, you know, not as stupid. Uh, just generally speaking, a bunch of cards would be a lot less annoying to deal with. Draw three. All right, so they can play some nonsense here. Jesus Christ. Take your damage. If, you know, failing that... Um, so I don't want a Grey Merchant here. Um, instead, I want to Fenlurk. Yeah. I want a Fenlurk so that I have access to um, Drag to the Underworld on this. End of turn. Do I want to use either of these? Not really. I don't think I care. Like, this one day... Like, I'm not going to win... Or I'm not going to die from this. So I think I just... Go to end step. They make this. I kill it. And I kill it now just because they might have some sort of counter spell or protection or something. Um, yep, they make that now. That's fine. Totally resolves. I kill it. My dragon to the underworld. Cool. So failing, failing Lone and Arbiter, I think uh, my next preferred one would be uh, Flicker Wisp. Flicker Wisp, I think, is something that shouldn't break things too much. Uh, there might be like a a Bant Flicker deck that is a little excessive, but you do miss out on a bit of, like, the instant speed stuff. So I, I wouldn't hate... You're just gonna keep taking a bunch of Dablage, dude. 
Um, I don't hate the idea of of having access to Flicker Wisp. I think that would be pretty fun. Um, I I love Birthing Pod with a passion, but with the the dumb green things, even just in standard, it there's just too much. Um, it, there's just too too many dumb things that would lead to dumb situations. That even though I love Birthing Pod and I would love to play like a pod deck. It's just not reasonable to, to do. I'm just going to kill you with Grey Merchant, dude. You thought you could draw two and make octo octopi? Octopus? Whatever. You, you will die instead. A feast upon my coins. Bobbers asked, uh, What song would you think Eluna would sing if it could sing? Um... Alouette, jote, alouette. Now, um, I think that Eluna would sing. Bro, real talk though. Sweet dreams are made of this. Who am I to disagree? I travel the world and the seven seas. That's that's totally what 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 Luna would sing. Hundred percent. Barbers, your avatar is uh something. Do I have a favorite avatar of someone in the, the channel? I don't think so. Because it'd be rude. I mean, my avatar, obviously. I commissioned art for it. What the front door are you? Each creature spell you cast costs one less if it has mutated. Oh, it's a mutation deck. All right, I'm gonna start egg on your stuff and then I'm gonna drag your stuff to the underworld. <laughs> so go away, please. Another one. Mutations, all right. I expected to see a bunch of like the same decks after the first one, but you know, not bad. Oh, let's see, let's see the mutations, man. I, I like the idea of mutation deck. Uh, open to see more, obviously. Arboreal Grazer, sure, sure. Nothing, nothing too frightening yet, which is very good. Okay. Parcel Beast, okay. Do I want to just murder that? Probably. Yeah, I think I just want to get that killed. Do I? Is that what I want? The top card, if it's a land card, it's going to cost me to hit. Gem Razor is a rare, correct? <laughs> I don't know why I'm asking. I'm looking that shit up. Gem Razor is a rare. Cool. Uh, so I will just play Underworld Dreams. I'm fine letting this occur for another turn. I just want to get the 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 clock ticking. Uh, their their cards are go their creatures are going to be strong, um, and I have limited total kill removal. Uh, Drag to the Underworld obviously helps a lot. And you might be saying like, why are we playing specifically Drag to the Underworld? We have a lot of devotion. This is almost always just going to be a two-mana destroy target creature um, at instant speed. So, typically this is going to be better than um, even something like Heartless Act. Um, you know, Heartless Act in this situation is fine, but, you know, what if they had a plus one, plus one counter? Then it'd be not as good. By the way, Bob Chopper, that ain't it, Chief. Trumpeting Guar. They should diversify their bonds. They just cast it? Okay, are they going to mutate onto it now? What? I mean, this has to die. I hope that they blocked with Trumpeting Gar, but... Trumpeting Gnar? 
but sure, this is fine. Uh, I need another land. Do I, do I hit the grazer? Do I make the grazer die? I think I will. Could technically make that smaller. Looks like they might activate Parcel Beast here. Put it to your hand. If you don't put the card into your hand. No, all right, thanks. You have a 4 3. Go away. I would very much like a land, please. A land means I could play Yark's Familiar, or Yark's Fan Lurker and Timurit. And my Timurit would be able to block stuff nicely. Well, I get to get rid of whatever the hell this is, so that's nice. So they're in top. Oh, yes! That was important. Alright. Still looking for, uh, okay, uh, we're gonna see another mutation happen here? No? Nope. Alright, they're, they're looking for things. Alright, it's a land, that is fine with me. I'll take four, I think. Yeah, no blacks. No blocks, I said. I said no blocks. Alright, that's actually super helpful. Here, I assume this is another land, yeah. And we'll play a Timoret. If I can top deck a land next turn, we're uh, we're gonna be gaining a lot of life and draining, of course. Drain thirteen from our opponent. Put him to two. Don't mind if I do. Just need a land, please. They're still looking for things with Parcel Beast. This is fun. I didn't expect the format to be nearly as varied as uh, as it has been. The mutant on the shore shark, they can bounce my Timurit. Huh. That would make me very sad. Yeah. Uh oh. Who the sneeze is real. Um. Yeah. There's nothing I can do about that. Yeah. That gets bounced. Okay. Uh, we chump this. We hope for a land. Um, not a land. I would rather just do that and make it a little smaller. I'm slowly whittling, whittling them down. I just need one more land so I can get this, can pop this Gary off. Looks like another another mutation. Yeah, another mutation. So my Timur is going to get bounced again. They get to search. That's fine. I would really like to cast this Grey Merchant, please. Sure. I'll take through this time. Thank you very much. Okay, I'll put them to three. They'll be on two at the end of this turn. They essentially can't bounce my Grey Merchant or else they will die horribly. 
Um, I don't think it was correct to play Timurit here because they die in two turns from Underworld Dreams. I don't suspect that they can kill me in two turns, especially because we have Timurit plus the ability to gain a little bit of extra life. So we should be fine. Keyword. Should be. We get so far. That's fine. They have to try to hurt me. I, I, yeah, I don't know why they're still... Well, I guess they can get something good here. Um, Pouncing Shore Shark? Are these May abilities? No, these aren't May, so they can't mutate anymore. No, they can't even cast a mutate spell. They, they have lost. Yeah, that, yeah. That is not a May. Not bad. Not bad. I end up always playing black something in these in these events, and it always works because black is I don't know if it actually always works. But black is just the best color of magic. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Uh you know, we got the beginnings of a curve. Three land, yeah. We're going second, not the best. We don't have enchantment removal uh, to work with Eidolon, but so fine. MTK 25, don't know what your name means. All right, let's see what you have. Possibly the draw two deck. Do I want to hold my Eidolon? No, I'm actually fine with casting it here. Uh, I don't have any Enchantments, they, enchantments to work with it, which is why I'm letting it happen this time. So yeah, it looks like it's probably, probably going to be the, um, is it double draw deck? Tag me in the sky if you want, that's fine. My Eidolon literally gains me that life back. Cool. You're playing Essence Scatter? It has to be a counter spell because they had they didn't show like any time when I attacked. Play an essence scatter. Okay. Okay. I mean, I have double death this night, which will be very fun to hopefully shove at my opponent's face. And what's dope is that even if they counter it, sure, even if they counter it, I can just get it back by attacking. I'm vaguely worried about my hateful Eidolon dying, but at the same time, I don't actually care all that much. So yeah, we're going to probably Deathless Knight, Deathless Knight, Gary. Um, this I guess this might just be... It's just Mono Blue? Are you playing Mono Blue Temple right, Tempo right now? I mean, I guess. If it works, it works. Uh, no, there's the green. All right. We found the green, everybody. We're going to cast this. Even if they counter it, you know, we're, we're forcing them to do something, and we're just going to put it back in our hands, so. All right, cool. Um... Okay, Brian Pone Cutthroat is still standard legal. But if he blocks here, I'm fine with that. There's also the fairy... Is it like fairy miscreant? No, it's not. I mean, that is in standard, but that's not the card I'm thinking of. It's like, I think it's I think it's a 1-2, not a 2-1. Alright, they had nothing anyway. Oh, they had literally nothing. All right, well, I, I was looking things up for no reason. Um, am I still going to Deathless before I Gary? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, 
Didn't realize I just had a Theros uh, pack. Bruh. I saw the sign. It opened up my eyes. I saw the sign. Uh, let, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and pop some more packs. No, no packs. Thank you. Uh, let's go ahead and grab two. Sure, why not? Okay, try on. Never hate that. And the next one is gonna be green. I wasn't wrong. I wasn't entirely white, right? But I <laughs> words are hard to say. That was actually that was actually quite fun. Yeah, I had, I had a good time. Uh, once again, shout out to to uh, Wizard of Trash on the uh, Arena subreddit. This is the the deck I decided to pick up and modify very slightly. As I said, it was only a very slight modification, uh, but it was a ton of fun. Unfortunately, like the way these the way these F and M events happen, like this is gonna go up at noon. Of Saturday, right? It's just how it happens. I can't actually do anything else about that unless I completely modified the way I record, and I just can't do that right now. Uh, but still, it was fun, and maybe uh, you can still play Artisan with your friends. I don't know. Regardless, uh, I'd like to thank my lovely patrons, especially Zin, for the continued support. There is one more person uh, who's become a patron in the five dollar tier that I have not yet uh, reached out to for. Um, the modification of my end screens because I'm a lazy bum and I've been playing Animal Crossing with uh, my girlfriend today. But, you know, thank you to all of you. Um, it does me a lot. If you'd like to join them and support the show, there is links to that in the description below. But honestly, uh, monetary support isn't, uh, you know, the only way to support. Just joining the Discord server, uh, liking the videos, commenting especially helps a ton. Um, subscribing, I mean, also helps, obviously. Uh, sharing the video, even if it's just, like, you have a Twitter with, like, no followers. If you just sh have the Twitter with no followers and share the video, it still, it still like, matters to YouTube. But, yeah, like, any anything that um, shows interactivity with the channel is a ton of support, and it really does help. And it, and it also just, like, shows me that you enjoy the stuff. You got the stuff? Yeah, you got the money? I don't know what, I don't know what I was doing there. Anyway, I hope you've liked it, as I said. Like, comment, subscribe, all that nonsense. Until next time, I'll be one.